Well, look what we have here. Hello, my name is Kyle and welcome to my channel and this is The Conservative Take. In this video, we're going to talk about Bubba Wallace and the situation where he said that there is a noose hanging in his locker. Sounds pretty bad considering he is a half black race car driver in NASCAR. He also was the one who had the I Can't Breathe shirt and was basically identifying with BLM and was going totally counterculture to what NASCAR had been doing prior to that in terms of their stance about kneeling for the American flag. And so in this video, I'm going to go through an article, which is by the conservative treehouse. And they went through some investigative reporting. Wow. That's almost like a superpower nowadays where people actually go in and look at data and actually look at information and report on it as if it actually happened from a neutral standpoint. And I'm going to go through this article. And I'm going to read it. and let you decide for yourself whether or not this is truly a racist hate crime, which is, you know, pretty bad. I mean, who's going to put a noose in someone's locker? Right. Or is it a misunderstanding or is it a complete Justice Smollett 2.0? Let's check this out. This article came out on June 22nd and they have since updated today, which is June 23rd, it says here proved to be a certainty. Is Bubba Wallace rope noose a hoax or misunderstanding? All Talladega garage doors have nooses. NASCAR video evidence. So what they did was they went back to 2017, found some video from NASCAR. I'm about to show that video to you right now, as well as some pictures. And they're going to go through the progression of what they came up with. And you decided at the end of this article whether or not it was a malicious attack against Wallace or was it a malicious setup by Wallace against the public, similar to Jesse Smollett, or was it just a simple misunderstanding? We'll see. So here it has here in red, it says very important update at the bottom absolute proof. So it says here, when NASCAR rolled into Alabama and Talladega Motor Speedway, the story of a rope noose in the garage of Bubba Wallace grabbed media attention. However, a NASCAR video of the exact garage doors at the Talladega Motor Speedway shows all of the garages have ropes and nooses on them. And you can see here, this red arrow to the left of that is a noose. And right here you see is a noose. Now, we know nooses have a serious negative connotation, but in reality, they are very functional. You know, you can make them to clamp on the things and you can hold them up. And so they're very functional in terms of the type of knot and loop that they provide. So let's continue. It says here that the images are from a NASCAR 2017 garage cam walkthrough during the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series garage at Talladega. Super Speedway. The rope with a noose on the end is a simple method to pull down the garage door to close it. The noose provides a place to put your hand or wrist when closing the door. See, it's a functional device. Hat tip to Zario Navario says, my guess on the noose incident in Taldega, watch this video, look close at the Taldega garage doors. Each one has a rope hanging down with a loop on the end to pull down the doors. One probably broke and someone just tossed it aside. Then the crew member found it and thought, well, it's something it, if it wasn't, now NASCAR is trying to figure out just how to explain their stupidity. Okay, so let's take a look at this video. I have it queued up here. And I will first let you see here at the bottom here. This is the NASCAR YouTube channel. And here is the date, October 13th, 2017. So let's run this guy. All right, let's run. So I'm pause here. You see it right there. And I'll leave a link to this video in the description. There it is again right there where the arrow is. And that's a good shot right there. Right there in the corner. All right. So let's go back to the article. All right. So it says here, is this just a simple misunderstanding amid a climate where NASCAR is sensitive to the current racial narrative sweeping the nation? Did Bubba Wallace team accidentally make a major headline grabbing story out of a simple mistaken perspective? Or was the mistaken impression purposely 
misunderstood by either the team or the organization to gain attention. You decide. According to the media, the discovery of the new Sunday afternoon in Wallace's garage stall comes as the United States and NASCAR in particular more squarely addresses America's systemic racism in the wake of the police killing of George Floyd. Again, I have a problem that word systemic, but I'm not going to talk about that as a whole nother video. I'll leave some links below for more information on that. Wallace, the only black driver, he's actually half black, his father's white, in NASCAR's top circuit. And by the way, why is it that people who are like Colin Kaepernick, who basically didn't have a family who was raised by white people, or Sean King, who is totally white, who identifies as, as, as black, why are these people identifying with the victim side of their heritage or their culture? I don't understand that. That's a whole nother issue altogether, but that's not, <laughs> that's kind of out of scope for this particular video. But to me, Something's going on about this, man. It's almost as if, like, like, like Candace Owens said in the, in the movie, Uncle Tom, that victimization is like a industry. It's sellable. You can make money off of it. If you're a victim, you can get paid. Simple. All right, let's keep going. Has been an outspoken advocate of Black Lives Matter movement and the corresponding protest against racism and police brutality. He wore an I Can't Breathe shirt before the one event repainted his car with the Black Lives Matter phrase and pushed NASCAR to ban the Confederate flag. All right, so let's keep going. And they're talking about the FBI being involved and so forth. It's a federal case, I guess. So I'm not going to go through all of this here. You, I'll leave a link to this article as well. But this is the same thing I showed you in the video, this picture here, that news there. And here's the tweet by Bubba Wallace. All right, and so NASCAR says, Together I stand with Bubba. This is a PR nightmare, people. It's a PR nightmare. Now here it is here. Major update. We were finally able to locate a picture of Bubba Watson's garage door. The picture below was taken on Monday, June 22nd, which was yesterday, while FBI investigators were reviewing the incident. The source of the picture is here. Here's a picture here. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. See right here? This is the number four. That's his garage. All right. The, the number 43 Victory Junction Chevrolet, driven by Bubba Wallace, not pictured, waits in the garage area to the NASCAR Cup Series Geico 500 at Talladega Super Speedway on June 22, 2020 in Talladega, Alabama. Sponsored by Getty Images. Now, here's the same picture with some important notations. Look at the manual garage door pulled down on bay number 4. Notice how short it is compared to the adjacent bay number 5. So here you are here. This is number four where my mouse is. And you see this area here. That's the, the string right there. They'll show a close up later. All right. The FBI investigators are questioning security. And see Bubba Wallace vehicle is in bay four. The blue car here, blue truck here, compared to door in November 2019 video. And here we have for comparison, you got to zoom in on this over here. This is bay number five. It's much longer. See right here, bay four. This is four. This is five. This is bay four. There's the noose. All right, let's come on down. That hand loop, which can be claimed as a noose, if that is what you're predisposed to be looking for, was there in November of 2019 when the video was taken. The hand loop, possibly misconstrued as a noose, has been cut off in the picture taken yesterday. There's bay five, there's bay four, here's the noose. You see before, it is gone, taken yesterday. All right, and so we keep coming down. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. There, not there. November 19, June 20. It wasn't a noose. It was a hand loop to help make closing the garage door easier. And it wasn't put there for Bubba Wallace because it was there in November 2019. Additionally, in November of 2019, no one would know what garage bay would be assigned to Bubba Wallace in June of 2020, which is nearly... Eight months later. It is absolutely ridiculous to see this as targeted hate. That's it. 100% proof positive evidence of the situation. Now the question remains. Was this incident purposely misconstrued as a hanging noose to drum up racial controversy by Bubba Wallace NASCAR team? Or two, was that intentional mistake made explicitly worse purposely by NASCAR going public and orchestrating a ridiculous PR campaign around it? Or three, were all of those involved pulling off a demonstrable hoax in an effort to politicize and capitalize on the controversy? Justice Smollett 2.0 with 
full forethought and selfish intent. Or four, was this some big, stupid, oversensitive misunderstanding? You decide. It will be interesting to see how NASCAR responds. The clarity of the situation is beyond debate. This noose in a NASCAR garage story was false. This was not targeted racial hate towards Bubba Wallace, and it wasn't even a noose in a NASCAR garage. And so there you have it. The article from the Conservative Treehouse, a really good piece of investigative journalism. Again, like I said before, it seems like that it today is a superpower. Project Veritas, those guys are now the anomaly. It's hard to find people to actually go out and do research and put it out there for people to decide for themselves. This is how it used to be. And so not anymore. So what do you think? Was this just a simple misunderstanding or was this something intentional by NASCAR to capitalize on the situation? Or was this even something more sinister? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious to know what you think. And if you like what we do in this channel, where we take culture, TV, and movies and filter it right, please hit that like and subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. And please share with your friends as we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. As always, please check out some content that I have right here.